My name is Randy, Randy Lau, out of Graham, Washington, and I'm the lucky bastard that won this brown bear hunt up here in Sitka. And I'll be going out with, with Scott and Dustin McLeod, and it's Alaskan Raven Guide Service. So I'm here doing this filming with Wes, do, doing my part, but I'm here because of Michael Deming and his promotion with pro membership and I signed up for that, the Pro Membership Sweepstakes. I kept my paperwork, original paperwork. Back in 6 June 2016, password, feeling lucky 2016, dollar sign, dollar sign. I don't know. Who else used that password? But it worked for me. So we're starting a 10 day journey this morning. We're a little bit here. We stayed on the boat last night and we're here before everyone gets here. How are you feeling about the next 10 days. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Hey guys, I'm Wes Atkinson. I'm here in Sitka, Alaska with Alaskan Raven Guide Scott McLeod and Dustin McLeod with the Pro Membership Hunt Sweepstakes Grand Prize winner. You guys have seen this brochure and I know that it's as an outfitter for the last 15 years, what I'm excited about this program is that this gets people who would never be able to do these hunts into the middle of nowhere on a budget that they would likely never be able to afford. And look at this list. This is ridiculous. We're here in Sitka, Alaska. We're about to take off for 10 days in the Western Profit with professional hunters on an $18,500 purchase price point for the price of a $300 ticket. This guy that's standing right over here is excited. So what I'm excited about with this this program and why I like this is after being an outfitter for 15 years there was a certain kind of person that I repeatedly took hunting this opens up the realm and the demographic for guys who have never been able to be in the field in this capacity to stare face to face with a giant brown bear from the ancient land of these islands up here north of Sitka for guys that would likely, through their professional careers, through the lifestyle that they've chosen, they can afford a $300 ticket, but they can't afford an $18,500 hunt. Mike Deming took the heart and soul of hunting, and what really makes this thing work, and why we're still, why the primal DNA that we have is still activated in 2017, the thing that gets us up in the morning, and he, he broke this down through Sportsman's News and made something that most of us, myself included, I could never come do this hunt. I've been an outfitter my whole life, so I've just been poor. Now I'm running a camera. But this makes things possible, guys, that will change your life. You will have a perspective that you've never had before. And I'm excited to stand right here and say, sign up for this thing, give yourself a chance. The guy that actually won the hunt, Randy, he started buying lottery tickets after he won this because he was feeling lucky. So we're headed out for 10 days. Let's see how lucky we can be. set up here first day come out to an island so we can see 360 degrees all the way around us we got beautiful weather we got a ceiling but it's calm just a tiny sprinkle water smooth it's gorgeous for Alaska we'll take it
So the consensus is that upon further evaluation, Randy has decided to pass this bear. <laughs> Just too small. Too small Just for you. Just not meet our high standards of a day one bear. I do want to add so that the sarcasm is obvious that this guy has only meat hunted in his whole life. He is, you know, just over 33 years old. Surely. About to turn 34. Yeah. And has only meat hunted. And so passing on an eight and a half foot brown bear. Oh, I don't want to be in the camera. Oh yeah, step right in. So, yeah, obviously the obvious question is, how do you hunt brown bear? So after a day out here, you know, the evening with uh, Dustin last night, this morning with Scott, we spent a lot of time in that skiff, just doing that slow cruise, looking at the grassy beaches. And there's, uh, it's like 50-50 grassy beach, and the rest of it's all rocky beach. There's a lot of deer up here, so we've seen deer and eagle, how exciting was it when you saw your first brown bear? Yeah, pretty amazing because I thought it was a shooter. <laughs> I was ready to go for it. But then, you know, Dustin and Wes both said, nah, it's, it's a little one. But it looked pretty big, you know. I, I would have went to take a better look, but, you know. But that's why they're here, you know. They're the judge of the bears, I'm not. But, uh, Freshwater coming out into the ocean. We got a little bit of wind today, so we're going to march back in. The ocean was beating us up a little bit. So we couldn't go to the spot we wanted to go to. But this is still a really good tidal flat. We got a lot of area to look at. <laughs> Is there shooting hours or no shooting hours so you can hunt all the way to dark? Because if you can see it to kill it, you can kill it. Yeah. What happens when the moon is full? Does that just make it an all night deal? Mm, nope. Is that a trick question? <laughs> We're on day three and I just wanted to like point out that we are in the middle of nowhere. So most of us never have the experience of not having what we need at the grocery store. If that thing over there, that barge, doesn't get to Sitka from Billingham, they don't have the supplies that the town needs to operate. So it's just kind of cool to be in a remote enough place to the wild, the last remaining wild places on this planet enough that that thing is how the town survives and we get to hunt bears right here.
so we're with Alaskan Raven Guides. And this is my first time in all the brown bear hunting I've done to have to construct my own wall to glass behind. Mostly the guides do that. But that's because oaf over there, oaf is a little too tall. But we just built this rock wall. My guess is now we have a place to get out of the wind while bear hunting. Dustin, have you seen any bears tonight? Four. Four bears. Cubs across the bay. Uh, I'm guessing humpback whales. I don't actually know whales. I'm not a whale connoisseur, so I don't know whales. But we got whales right here and we got bears right there. It's day four. It's a game of patience. We'll stay at it. It's pretty exciting stuff though to get to see that all at the same time. said the hide wasn't quite right. In my opinion, beautiful animal. And I hope I don't regret not shooting, but we'll see. It's day four. Things are looking up. We've already seen this is the second big bear we've seen today. The first one was the sow with cubs. I'm pumped. That's how I'm feeling. That's a six and a half foot sow. Yeah. It's a sow. It's the one you saw, huh? Well, come here and look, Dustin, make sure, but I think it looks short to the ground. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ain't that the six and a half foot yeah. cell? Yeah, barely bigger than that log stand. That's right. right. But she's got nice hair. Randy really wants to shoot that one. <laughs> so it was slow for a minute, for four days, and now we have almost had bear action all day long today on day four. Rain, but we can't, we forgot to tell hunters we don't hunt in the rain. Oh, right, There's and actually it's a statewide law that <laughs> you can't hunt in the rain. It's a certain amount of rain though.
Sure, keepers. Man. That's a champion. Told you I knew what I was doing. Still on day five, sun's starting to go down. But Dustin spotted a beautiful female bear. Just uh, got a real light back. What'd you call it? The color? It's really like blonde. Blonde. All right, we're starting day six. It is. This is actually Alaska, which is crazy because it's beautiful out here. I'm gonna call the boss. Got a sat phone. It's nice to be with an outfitter that has a sat phone. You gotta check in with civilization.
Hey Wes, <laughs> we gotta go check out a bear. It's over there. What'd you say? It was maybe a boar in a sow? It, uh, just looked at it. It might be a boar in a sow. Just the amazing enough, there's heat waves in Sitka. It's just, uh, it's not clear. Too much distortion. Can't tell. All right, let's go. Side shot. What, what impressed me about that stock was how close we got. We started at over 200, and you could say within 100. Yeah, I would say we were 80 yards.
going. It's uh, about four o'clock. We went out early this morning, like nine, and uh, didn't see anything. Saw whales. That was interesting. And then we pulled up our crab pots. Another, got some more of the ocean's bounty. So that was delicious for lunch. It's not over till a fat lady sings. Day 10, we've been super patient. Kind of came to a little bit of a newer area. And because we've worked our butts off, we're gonna, we're gonna give ourselves a chance to shoot this bear. Randy's last day of the sweepstakes. That's what Scott says, that's what we're gonna do. How are you feeling? Feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot him again. Can you see him? He's up, up there. Right behind the rock. I think he's dead. Holy, we did it. Huh? We did it. Is it good? Yeah, good. We did it. This is what I expected. This is what I expected a brown bear to look like, you know? Okay, 10 days of Alaska Raven Guides guides busting their tails for this guy who just got it done. A 154 yard shot in a beautiful bay in Sitka, Alaska. Sportsman's News Pro Membership Sweepstakes for the price of a $300 ticket. Wow. What do you think? It was great. Great experience. Thanks to everybody. These guys work super hard. Never seen more committed guides to making it happen right up to the very bitter end. And to say that this hunt was easy would be not being honest. We had to work for this bear. This is the product of a lot of hard work, a lot of determination, 35 years of experience from Alaska's Raven Guides. Wow, getting it done. So I am a, a meat hunter, and in this process of skinning the bear, Scott said he's insisted that I get as much bear meat as we can get off this big bear.
Sportsman's News Television is brought to you by Alps Outdoors, exceed your expectations. CVA, it's just a better gun. Double Tap Ammunition, made with pride in the USA. Sitka, turning clothing into gear. Browning, the best there is. Bushnell Trophy Cam HD. And brought to you by your local Ford stores, home to built Ford tough trucks. What's America's best-selling brand of trucks? You're in for a big surprise, pal. Actually, you're not. It's Ford F-Series again, and it wasn't even close. Same trucks that have been leading the industry for 39 straight years. Why? Game-changing innovation, like F-150's high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy, which helps make it stronger, more capable, and more efficient than ever. Innovation. It's why Ford F-Series is making every other truck brand history.